Hello Leo, how are you doing? This is your reading. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. I'm just gonna clear the energy really quick. They're showing me like somebody um, putting together a table, like a building a table or there's a way that the table opens and then there's another piece you can put in the table. There's something about emerald green or emeralds. Building blocks. You're building something. Some, something is coming together here. There's something here that you're building. Okay, you know, I really rarely do this, but I feel the urge to do a Celtic cross. So that's what I'm going to do. It's like a building block. So something is coming together here, and you know, she's kind of like looking off into the distance here, and everything is falling into place around her. So there is definitely something about this like mental connection to doing this here. So this is something that you're starting and it's like, you know, even though like look at this foundation is already here but i feel like it's only beginning and it's only going to build more and more from here it's like this card is number 28 okay so number 28 may mean something to you october 28 may mean something to you um you may be 28 but um there is two and eight together is you know 10 which breaks down to one this is something starting here. It's like the start of something good here. And you're starting to see some progress. You're starting to see something you can build with, that you can work with here. Um, okay, you have the Eight of Swords here. So there is something about being in your head at this time. You know, they have all the swords around her. And the pathway in, in front of her is open. Her feet are not bound. So she can take some steps here to get out of this. And to do that, that next step that she is about to take, she will step into this puddle of water. So there will be some emotions. It's like, oh, I can't move forward and do something. No. But you can. And But the first step forward, there's emotions that are going to be brought up with that. And so this is why you're choosing not to take a step forward necessarily, or you're thinking that you can't, or there's some worry about that, right, with the Eight of Swords here. But look at how she is standing in the center here. And it's like showing me even if there is no way to build, you can go up. You know? Like, even if there's not a lot of room, there's not a lot of land, so you can't expand outwards. So it's like, oh, oh, well, you can't do it. But it's like, no, spirit's like you can because you can build up and you can go up that way. Right. So here, you know, the, these swords that were around her and she's in the center, this building that's around her, right, that she's standing on. There is a way to go forward. But you don't necessarily have it does it might not be the way that you think right because this person didn't move forward at all she just stayed in one spot and made it work and built it up and built it up and built it up and built it up so there's something to be said here about something that can work that maybe there is a way there is another way and if you're feeling right now like there isn't a way and you cannot see a way spirit is going to help you is going to guide you um at this time 
you know, you have the Knight of Wands. So it's like you're kind of waiting for a message here. You're waiting from a sign from spirit. But that's telling me that it's not too far off. It's not that far off. It's really not. So you have this Empress here. There's a Three of Swords. There's a Three of Swords. That feels like it's in your past. Okay, this is too many cards. One too many cards. But really, you are grounded at this time. You're ready to move. You're, you're really ready to move forward. You're more grounded than you think you are. You're more ready than you think you are. You're more talented than you believe for yourself to be. You're further along than you think you are, King of Swords. You have really uh, some mental clarity here that is crowning you. You think you're not clear. You think you don't know the way, and you do. And that's actually the thing that is helping you the most. You're, you're creating. The only issue that is here is one that you're creating. But spirit is going to give you a sign, I feel like, that is going to help you turn this whole thing around here. You have the Ten of Wands. This wanted to come out uh, with the King of Swords. So you're really putting down some burdens here that you're seeing how you created your own blockages in the past. You have already seen that and you're now getting opportunities to put action towards what you have realized a while ago for some of you. Um, but, uh, you know, you have the Three of Cups here. So it's like... A challenge for you at this time would be trying to just go out and enjoy things instead of putting this work forward. Go going towards what you already know. And it's kind of like spirit is like, no, we don't want you to do that anymore. And you want to keep going to what is known to be an enjoyment and celebrate. And spirit is like, nope, that is not the thing anymore. You have the Three of um, Wands. Your fears is like you missed the boat. You're afraid you missed the boat. You're afraid you missed the window to do something. Um, and geez, Louise, will you be ready? Will you be ready when the ship is coming in? If the ship is here now, are you ready now? There's a, these are a lot of questions that you have within your mind. You're going back and forth and you prayed and you asked for something. And now it's like, it's kind of like showing me somebody who's like praying and asking for a chance to be um, on the voice. And then it's like, you get the call to go on the voice. And it's like, uh, I'm not good enough to go on the voice. I can't go on the voice. And Spirit's like, are you kidding me right now? You are talented enough. And this is what Spirit is trying to show you. You are ready. You are ready. And there, there's not, you know, there's there's not going to be a point where you're going to um, stop learning. Just as the Page of Swords comes out. And that, that's the Page of Swords. It's the card of learning. That's what he is all about here. He is out there and he is trying to learn how to use this sword putting the work and the dedication in. This is something where you're always going to be learning. You're always going to be gathering knowledge and you're always going to be growing. You're never, ever going to be done. And so you're kind of taking that at this time as well. I'm never, ever going to be ready. And it's like your expectations are so sky high for yourself, but they're very low for everybody else. And that is beginning to change here with this building blocks card, how she's looking straight ahead to the distance. She is looking with a level head right at what is coming where she's going right this clearer image that she can see you have the queen of pentacles here as your outcome so this is you being stable this is you being stable and having something in front of you to nurture you know the empress here if the empress is pregnant then the queen of pentacles is the mother right? The baby being born and being ready to be in that mother role, 
whatever this is for you, whether it is a baby, whether it is a new relationship or whether it is career. But I feel like for most of you, it is career. Um, and we'll see about uh, relationship aspect. OK, um, I want to clarify. There's a lot of assessing going on. You're doing a lot of assessing. The universe doesn't want you to assess yourself, compare yourself to other people. Don't compare yourself to other people. You may feel like, well, other people that are doing what it is that I want to do, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have what they have. Um, are, you know, are people going to be interested in what I have to bring to the table? I need this and this and that to do something. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. Um, there's nothing else that you need to plan. There's nothing else that you need to assess. You don't need to compare yourself to anybody else. You don't need to compare this new endeavor to past endeavors. You're not done. It's not over. You didn't miss your shot. It's here. It's coming for you. Let's clarify this, Knight of Wands, because I want to see about this news that's coming towards you. You have some sort of news that is coming towards you that you're going to be able to utilize in some sort of a way here. Something that is going to be answered. For some of you, there is a person that you want to have a conversation with, and that is also going to happen. There is a person that you need to clear the air with this person. You need to know what's going on. And that's coming in too. You have the Nine of Swords. So it's like you're over over going it in your head. You're over going it in your head. Why this news is like, when, when is this news coming? Why is this taking so long? I feel like you're trying to reach something, reach for something and feeling like it's never going to come. You have the hangman and you have the six of wands. So you're going to find inner peace and you're going to have a victory here. Yeah, you have the sun card as well. You cannot see how you shine. And that is your problem. You cannot see your own the own great qualities that you have. You're being too difficult on you're being too hard on yourself at this time. And you kind of feel like you don't have what it takes and you do have what it takes. You do have what it takes to do this. You are worthy of this opportunity and you can do it. The Spirit wants you to believe in yourself and have faith in yourself. Let's see this Three of Swords. You have the uh, Knight of Swords. You know, someone was not speaking very nice to you whenever you did get feedback. It wasn't very kind. Whenever you did communicate with this person, it was not what you wanted to hear. And it was something that hurt you a lot. Um, whenever you did put yourself out there with your heart, it did, you know, get trampled on in the past. And it's just not something that you're wanting to revisit here at this time. You have the page of pentacles and temperance as well. So there is something that you have healed from the past. And now you're ready to make this new effort here. But I feel like you're still protecting. There's still walls up, but you're letting a little bit of yourself be seen. Right? You took some of those bricks down from the wall so people can see you. But you can't, people can't see you all the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Only a little bit. You're showing me like, okay, I healed from that. It's fine. But I'm only going to let you see <laughs> like Wilson from Home Improvement. That's it. You can see here, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> that's all I'm doing today um sorry goodbye okay so what is this um king of swords king of swords leo <sighs> lovers I have a feeling it's a love connection okay could be a gemini person could be a Gemini person that you had to walk away from that is now thinking about, you know, with this King of Cups card. They have some feelings about the past. They're seeing the past in a more loving way where they saw the past before in a hurtful way, that situation. Now they're looking at it through these glasses, a different kind of glasses, love. They're looking at it through alignment with the lover's card. 
Um, so there's somebody here that wants to reach out for to you and they're hoping for some sort of a way to come together here to rekindle something for an opportunity. This could also be somebody else who feels like they missed their opportunity with you and they're regretting it. They're regretting it. And they're in their head about look, the eight of pentacles is the focus and the strength is you. They're focused on you trying to figure out how to fix this here. Uh, could be... Uh, Air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is this Empress? You have the Hermit and you have the Ace of Wands. There's something within you that you really want to do, the One Nine of Wands. There's something that you're protecting at this time. You also have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're very protective over this new opportunity because this is something that means everything to you. And this is something that you are really, really wanting. It's something that you're meant to do. It's something that you're destined to do. And that's why you feel this huge calling. You know, the Empress is pregnant, but it hasn't, you know, it's not emerged yet here. But that doesn't mean you're not ready. You're so used to the process of getting ready that you don't want to change that process into the it's here now. Now it's time to go forward with it. So let's see this Ten of Wands. Can't stay in the same place and get changed, right? And you're just not meant to stay in the same place, and that's just it. That means different things for different people. You know, you have this uh, Knight of Pentacles and you have the Five of Swords. So with the seven of pentacles, so somebody wants to try to come back in and offer you something here. You walked away from this person. They're coming in slowly. And I feel like, I don't know, you're kind of assessing this like, um, I've already moved on. This is not something that I'm interested in because you want what? The queen of pentacles here. This is what you're wanting, your outcome. You want something that you can have established here. You're wanting to see yourself here in this success. And that's what you're going to get. You're not going to settle for less than that. And that's why you're getting it. And that's why you're getting it. So I feel like there's a new person that's going to come in for you. Look at this. You have the Four of Swords and the King of Wands. So you're praying for somebody new to come in and assert themselves, right? Somebody new who comes in, who's strong, who's confident, who can come towards you and tell you how they feel. Okay, and this will be something that you've been hoping and praying for, you know, kind of like something I've been hoping and praying for. That's what you want, not the kind of things that you've been trying to clear out and get away from. And this has all this baggage and blah, 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 blah. No, you want something that, you know, is something that is going to offer you something that can grow, that you can grow with and share a life with from this Ace of Pentacles, one pentacle to ten. So someone you can build a family with, a home with, a life with. Someone you can have forever. Somebody who has loyalty with his dogs here on the card. This is something that you're wanting. Somebody who is exciting, who's going to come towards you and tell you this. This is what you're wanting. So I feel like there's two different people coming towards you. One of them is divinely guided and it's a divine match of the person that, you know, is fated to be with you. And there's another person who's coming back from the past who's trying to rekindle something that, well, why now? You know, and I feel like that's your answer to them is why now? I dropped a card. Hold on. What is this bad boy? Eight of cups walking away. Walking towards your happiness, walking towards your ten of cups. I don't deserve eight cups. I deserve ten. And if you want to try to do something, um, why didn't you do it by now? Because I had all the reasons and excuses and all the difficulties and all the hardships, but I still gave 100%. And I want somebody who does the same back. And that's just, that's just it. What's this three of cups about? Okay, you got the hair you got the six of cups, and you got the page of cups. 
you really want this commitment. You want somebody who is serious, who's genuine, who wants the same things that you want. And you want someone who is willing to be vulnerable and show you these emotions that they keep hidden from anyone else. This is what this fish represents. You have the Hierophant, you have the Six of Cups, and you have the Page of Cups. So you want somebody genuine who really wants this commitment here. This is what you're wanting. And you're afraid that it's not in the cards for you. And it is. It literally is. Let's see the three of wands. Look at this. Three of cups, four of pentacles, and the high priestess. You're wanting to hold back at this time and keep things from other people at this time until it's the right time because you feel divinely guided to do so. When you have the high priestess, you know, she is gathering knowledge, but she is keeping this to herself. And she sees situations clearly. You see things very clearly at this time. You have the King of Swords crowning you and you have the High Priestess. There's something in you that's like, well, this isn't here yet and I wanted this. So this must mean that I'm doing something wrong and I don't know what I'm doing. And that spirit is like, no, you do. You're seeing things clearly. It's just taking a little bit of time because, you know, sometimes that's how it works. You know, that's how divine timing works and you just have to get over that. It's like when you're baking a cake, um, if you're baking a little cake, okay, yeah, that doesn't take a long time in the oven, does it? But if you're baking a cake that's going to go sky high and has all this decorations and blah, 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 that takes some time already. And you're like, okay, it's been 10 minutes. Like, what the heck, you know? Uh, so your time frame that you have set is not the universe's time frame. That's just not how it works. And so even though it has been a long time and you have worked really hard and you have gotten to this place and you are worthy and you do deserve it and you are in alignment, spirit is like, yeah, keep that going. <laughs> and I know that can be difficult and frustrating to hear, but that doesn't mean what you're wanting is not coming. I feel like you're just not connecting and clicking with people at this time, so you're deciding to keep things to yourself. You're at a higher vibration than the groups of people that are surrounding you. So you're secluding yourself. And this is a little bit like, well, what am I going to do? Just be here all high vibey and be all alone. But nothing is working out. I'm getting the same results. And I just have the same people around me. And who, like, how is this going to build? How is this going to grow? And spirit just wants you to trust in the process at this time. Because, you know, you have the Hierophant and you have the High Priestess. So, you know, you have a journey here. This is two souls that are divinely guided together. That is a beautiful story, like a story that you're building here. And this is building blocks, okay? So this is not we're following the structure of the build that has always been done. There is something different about this connection here that you have. There's something different about what you're doing where you're like, re you're writing it. You're writing this story as you're living it. You, you know, this is not um, copy and paste and you're getting what everybody else is getting. You are not everybody else, but nobody is. But you are definitely out of the norm here. You are writing a different story and you are a sample of different things that is going to allow other people that look like you or relate to you because of their the, being the same gender or the same nationality or whatever reason it is, the symbol struggles that you have gone through. I meant the same struggles that you have gone through. Um, you're gonna give them hope to expand. And oh, I can do more. It's kind of like, It's like once someone um, does something, then they believe that everybody everybody else believes that it's possible, and then all these other people believe that they can do it. But at one time, it was absolutely insane to do what they are doing. You know, there was a time when a woman learning how to read and write was get out of here, no way. You know, and th there were women that were, you know, thought of as crazy or, you know, women that didn't want to get married. I'm thinking of women because, you know, that's what I connect with. But it doesn't have to just be that. It's like, um, you know, 
So there's something to be said about, you know, you're kind of, you're a pioneer here. You're a pioneer, you're expanding things. So now there's gonna be more room for other people and you're creating a way for other people to sit at a table. That's what you're doing. So you don't need to be so hard on yourself. Basically, that's the message in a nutshell. Page of Swords. Six of Pentacles, um, Knight of Cups, and the uh, Queen of Swords. Somebody wants to come in and offer you something. They may have breadcrumbed you in the past. I don't think that has changed at all, and I think you see right through it. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Big time. It's just about something needing to be closed out. It's not about you're attracting this person back, so are you back in that old energy? Did you not really heal yourself? Is there anybody else that's going to come through? That's not what it's about. So that's why Spirit wants you to know, don't be so hard on yourself. You're closing something out here with a person that you know breadcrumbed you in the past. You know that there was nothing you could build with this person. You wanted to be a part of something and they didn't. They didn't want that. They wanted to take. They presented it like they wanted to build. But every time you build, okay, we're going to build now. They didn't come out and build too. You did all the building by yourself. And then while you were asleep, they knocked everything you built over. You know, it was like the never ending story with this person. You have the King of Swords again. Okay. So this is telling me that you have extreme mental clarity at this time. And it is not that you are not ready to attract something. It is that this is dependent on the Wheel of Fortune. This is dependent on your destiny. This is dependent on the right time for something to come in here. And you have justice at the bottom of the deck. So this is Libra season. Libra season. Now. It's going to be really interesting. This solar eclipse that is coming up on the 14th. What is going to be happening for the Leo? So it's going to be a really unique opportunity for you to share something. Eight of Wands. It's going to be like a download that you're going to have where you're going to be able to achieve something that you're dreaming about. Page of Swords again. So this is something that you have been working at, you've been learning at for a long time, and it would be your dream to do this. And Spirit is saying, yes, the answer is yes, you're going to get to do it. Take the next steps here. You're going to just know what to do. And you are better off than you think you are. Okay? Love is here for you too. Love is here for you as well. medallion the destroyer and the sword there is a person here that you know they took advantage of you they were the destroyer they caused a lot of destruction in your life and you were like you know what i'm just going to cut out a bunch of people that i need to cut out and i'm going to move forward and i'm going to work on myself and you know you finally reach this place of this medallion here coming in this place of achievement here this place where you now have what you need to start putting things together here and taking things to another step, to another level, right? A different form of action than what you've been able to take. And this person wants to come back in and talk with this sword card. And I feel like spirit is like, yeah, you're not going to want any part of this. Uh, it's like every fiber in your being is just going to be like, no, there was always a debate with this person. It was always a back and forth. It was always like a competition. And it's like, we're not competing against each other. We're supposed to be building together. You know, and they always wanted separate, separate this, separate that. And, you know, that energy is over with. The energy is, is dead, done, over with. You cleared it from your vibration. 
Um, and this is like the last little bit of that energy being cleared when this person tries to come back in. So spirit wants to remember you to be, to remind you to be gracious in your exit with this person, right? Moved on. I wish you the best. That's it. You don't even have to say you wish them the best if you don't, you know, but there is something to be said about I move forward and, you know, you don't have to say any more than that, <laughs> you know. I don't believe that that would be best for me. I'm moving forward. I'm not the same person who I, that I was before. And I like the new version of myself and, you know, I'm going on this new journey with myself. You know, you don't have to say, you know, name calling this and that, this and that, this and that. I'm not trying to put that on you if that's not something you want to do. That's just a message that's there for you. And if you feel that resonates with you, then good for you. And if it doesn't, then that's fine. You can just, you know, leave it alone. Yeah, the bridge here. It's like you don't have to be like opening a new way for someone to come back over here, right? Because there isn't really a bridge. But it's like, okay, no, I'm not coming back over. Um, and that's that. Closing it out. Okay. Let's see about this new energy coming in. Really feels like it could be an earth sign here with this queen of pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be also an air sign. You have the queen. Someone that sees you as a queen or you see them as a queen, the king, whatever your, you know, gender is. So if you would say queen or king. Um, the mentor. This person appreciates what you have to say. And there is an interesting thing here because you have the page of swords and then you have the mentor here and you also have the hierophant. And the hierophant talks about reaching a new level of mastery. And even when you reach a new level of mastery, you're still somebody's student, but you're always also somebody's mentor. You know, that's kind of this circle here. And whether, wherever you are, this just keeps moving around the different roles and the different people. But you're kind of like always all of these things to someone or diff to different people. You know what I mean? So uh, that's the interesting thing about you and this person that I'm getting this new person coming in. And you have the Page of Swords on the top of the deck here also. So it's like... There, there is something about the student becoming the teacher, the teacher becoming the student. There's different ways that you know more. There's different ways that this other person knows more. And there's different the ways that you interact with each other that is very beneficial. But it's like you have learned these lessons and you're ready to go to the next stage. It's kind of like you have these two page of swords people here, two people out here willing and honest to learn right and take those th that next steps and they're dedicated the page of swords is dedicated he is honest he is committed he cares he's passionate about this right and those two people are now in front of the hierophant and they are now reaching this new level of mastery and coming together as one so this is a really interesting story that you know you and this person have where it feels like you complement each other really well if you have a set of skills this person doesn't have those skills. And if they have a set of skills, you don't have those skills. So when the two of you come together, there is a wholeness here, but there is a respect. You have different hobbies than this person. They have different hobbies from you, but you're interested in learning about their hobbies. You can participate in some capacity to their hobbies and that's gonna open you up to different people, different ideals, different kinds of people. And the same thing, vice versa, the other way around for them with you. So this is two people that are just excited about life that are coming together to share life together. And that's a really beautiful thing that you have going on here. Um, but definitely you are like bossing up here with this queen energy. 
there is something here that you're birthing, that you are growing. There is a way that you are changing. You're shedding old skin here at this time. You're highly intuitive at this time. And the actions that you're taking, you know, the way the snake is through her hand, you know, what you're creating, what you're crafting, what you're doing going forth, you know, this is going to create a lot of abundance for you. It's going to create a lot of stability for you. And it's going to create something that you have been wanting for quite some time. Wow, you always get this card with me. Some of you really want to be married. You really want somebody that you can be married to. You really want somebody that you can have here by your side that can be committed to you. And there is a, there is love here. There is a commitment here when you have this vow card. <sighs> okay. Thank you so much, Leo. And I... I'll get it back. Okay. You have this. I still have to look up the meaning of this coin. I know I have these coins. You see the writing on it? I don't know what culture it is. I need to look this up because this keeps coming up. But I know it's to attract money and abundance and fortune. This is going to be a very abundant time for you. And you have the dove. So hope. It's okay for you to have hope. And look on the vow card, this dove here. So this is just another message that, yeah, you're going to find your other person. You're going to find your dove here. You're going to come forth here. And there is a vow, whatever that would mean for you that you are wanting, that is here available for you. You also have the dragonfly. The dragonfly represents heightened emotional social and emotional skills at this time you have healed yourself you have done the work you have done the transformation that you have needed to do and now you're ready to get to work and to build here to build your fortune here you're going to find another person that you have that you can share this abundance with this abundant life that you have created for yourself Thank you so much and I hope we'll see you next time.